man. Yeah, we have a lot of cats. Okay, so we weren't planning on having seven cats. Um, we used to have three cats, and we thought, oh man, this is a lot of cats just having three. But uh, we ended up rescuing a pregnant cat that was going to be put down. She's actually on camera right now. That's Danny. So she was... Oh, well, sorry. This is not a really good angle. <laughs> but, um... She was uh, gonna be put down in a shelter in a few days and we saw her picture online and we we're like, wow, okay. There's like just something in the universe told us that we had to go rescue her. So we ended up adopting her and we've never taken care of like a pregnant cat before. I mean, back when I was a little kid, we had guinea pigs and they had babies. Our guinea pigs had babies. Um, and then we neutered them, Kappa, but... Uh, that was like our only experience with having like animals that we owned have like birth with like another animal. So we never ever had like cats have birth or anything like that. So we we're kind of terrified. Um, but we ended up doing it. We ended up doing it. Um, I actually, uh, it was kind of one of those things where, um, uh, oh, I don't know if I should say it. But basically, I'm just gonna tell you guys. I'm just gonna be real. I'm gonna be really real right now. I don't know if I should tell you guys this, but last, okay, it happened last year around January, and we had a pretty crazy stream on my birthday. We got quite a bit of money on my birthday, so we actually spent the money that I got from donations on Danny to rescue Danny from the shelter, and we were able to buy. Um, the supplies we needed for her and her birth. So really, you guys actually saved Danny. But I don't really like talking about money and stuff like that, but I thought you guys should know. But yeah, because of you guys, we were able to rescue Danny and like, we were able to buy like her cage that she needed and like warming pads and bottles and like milk and stuff like that for the kittens, like powdered milk that we needed to buy and everything like that. Because she, Danny was actually sick when we adopted her. So we needed to take her to the vet too. Um, and get her checked out and uh, like we had a force feeder and stuff but it actually like turned into a massive amount of work that we weren't preparing for so like when she actually had her kittens uh, when she was giving birth she couldn't actually she was so exhausted and she had a, like this rapid crazy fever and she was like barely able to like have contractions and push the kittens out so we actually had to intervene and help her take the kittens out like you're not supposed to help the cat when they're giving birth but since she was like dying and she literally was just like literally almost dead there trying to get birth through these kittens so we had to help her but anyways yes you guys were there literally helping us fund this crazy experience of our life so um she ended up giving birth to four kittens but we lost one kitten um like a week or so after it was born because they were all the kittens were born with um the same virus that their mother had so they were all sick um, as well and it was it was so uh, it was such a crazy experience you guys it was heartbreaking when we lost one of the kittens um, we like brought it to the vet constantly and the vet just told us that like it was so tiny that there was nothing that they could really do to help the kitten than what we were already doing so we ended up just um, having the kitten put down because um, it wasn't able to eat it wasn't able to um, breathe like every time we tried to give it like a tiny bit of food, just like a drop on its little tongue, just like of milk, it would just like choke on it. So we ended up having to put the kitten down. Um, so that was the little, the little orange kitten that um, was there. We named him um, Her Hercules too, because like when we first adopt or when he first was born, he was like, he was the biggest kitten. He was like the best milk drinker ever. Like he was Skyrim Nord MLG milk drinker. And sadly, he just like declined. It was just like the virus hit him or something. Um, so that was really hard. But um, thankfully, the other kittens, Branley, Rhaegar, and uh, Buzz were all okay. And they are what you guys see on the camera. So Rhaegar was the white cat that you guys saw. He was a little kitten that came from Danny. And then also Branley, my little baby, he has like the little triangle nose. That's Branley. And then Buzz is actually living with my sister in Utah. He moved with my sister to Utah. Um, but he was also on camera quite a bit too. He was an orange and white cat that had like a little dot next to his nose. But he's no longer um, living here in California with us. He's actually with my sister. Um, 
So anyways, that's kind of how we got stuck with a bunch of cats is because we saved a pregnant cat and then we ended up getting so bonded to them. My whole family, we just could not for the life of us get rid of one of the kittens like we kept like talking about it too like okay you ready they're getting old enough to be separated from the mother we're gonna have to like you know find a home for them and we just never ended up being able to do it we just loved them so much and they all had their, their just because i live in such a large family with so many siblings that we all kind of fell in love with our own kittens so we ended up keeping keeping them all um and then uh <laughs> And then, um, Miko came along, our little gray kitten. My sister was looking for another kitten, so Buzz wouldn't be so lonely at her house because she lives up in Utah. She only had one cat, which is Buzz. She wanted a companion, so we, down here in California, she was going to come drive down here or fly down here for a visit, and we were going to give her a kitten that we found down here at our shelter. Well, she ended up finding another kitten up there, so we were stuck with Miko, and we just kept Miko, because we didn't want to give Miko back, and we were like, you know what, seven cats, MLG, let's do this. So now we have another cat, Miko, and he's adorable and amazing, so I'm glad we kept him too. Um, so yeah, that's the story of why we have so many cats. Um, but yeah, I definitely would recommend, like, if you are someone who you know, is just one person. Having lots of cats is like a very difficult thing. Like if I didn't have a big family, I wouldn't be able to take care of all these cats. Like he can feed them and water them and keep their litter box clean, that's fine. But like actually giving them attention that they need is like a a lot of work, you know? Like you got, oh, I found a hole, sweet. But anyway, since I have such a large family, we're able to like, you know, love all these animals you know because they're they're always getting love done there's always somebody awake in the house they're always getting snuggled to death so much so that we probably annoy them um but yeah they're very good kitties they're very happy and stuff but i don't think we'll be able to adopt anymore i think we're at our limit with seven <laughs> even though it's like so tempting to like you know especially now that it's spring and there's like so many kittens in the shelters right now today okay by the way if anybody's looking for a kitten, now is the time. April and May, it's just, they're so swamped with kittens at the shelters right now. They have way too many. Um, so if anybody's looking to adopt a kitten, now is the time. It is like kitten season, as we call it. But anyways, that was my whole spiel. I'm so sorry. That kind of like turned into like a just massive... Nice. Just like I could talk about cats for years, so you guys have to stop me. Just be like, Snow, so much cat talk, please. Bible thump. Okay. Oh, don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Please. Don't. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh. Woo. Okay. We're good. <laughs>